What's up YouTube and today we're going to talk about different scams on Tarkov. I want you to be aware of them and uh, please don't be scammed. So to give an example, most of the scams are actually related to high tier items such as Labs keycard. For example, let's search for Violet. And if we look for bartering offers, all of this, all of this is scammy. But first of all, um, there are people which sell GPUs for Violet as a pack, as a six pack. So if you sell Violet to them, you're going to get six GPUs, but others sell them one by one. So if you see an offer like this, which says total and doesn't say six pack, eight pack, whatever, and you sell your key card, it means you're going to get only one GPU. And there are plenty of offers like this, which uh, where people actually make money. I had people in chat complaining that they sold their key card and they got only one Ladex. For example, there is an offer for 27 Ladexes for the green key card. And as it's a 27 pack, you're going to get 27 Ladexes if you sell one green key card. However, if we scroll further, there is a guy who's selling 32 Ladexes, but they are not being sold as a pack. So if you buy... If you buy a Ladexes from this guy for a green key card, you're gonna get only one. And people like this pay a lot of commission fees, but they do get the key cards. That's the truth. Another thing I want to mention is when you buy items in your hideout. When you buy different items in the hideout, which are needed for crafts, let's say. Right now there are not that many scammy offers. However, you should still you should still be aware. For example, there are there is 13 pack of balls for the marked key, and it's the first one on the list. So if you filter by the bolts and you don't really pay much attention, you just click purchase and then you click yes very fast, you're gonna lose your found and raid dorm key. So make sure you got uh, no 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 buttering offer filter right there. So go to your filters, say remove buttering offers. Remember selected filter and then you click OK and whenever you search for the items There won't be any buttering offers and if you want to get them back you just disable this filter That's the way it works. All right, the last one, but not the least one There were plenty of scams in the past which were to do with uh, building the guns building different presets So whenever you open a gun and you open a preset, let's say we want to build my beautiful M4 and then you click find parts I've gotten filters exclude bartering offers, but if you don't, sometimes it might choose uh, it might choose different items. For example, the ones you can't buy from the trader, such as Saker Silencer, and it might give you a offer, a battery offer for something very expensive. Um, people typically don't do it now, but I remember a long time ago it was very easy to scam people for bitcoins when bitcoins were still sellable on the flea as well as people were selling different silencers and different bodies, let's say MUR, um, MUR body for the M4, um, for like $300,000. And since people were buying them without looking at the total price of the M4, uh, yeah, people were selling them. You could easily make money by selling those MURs for 500K. So whenever you build presets, make sure you got, uh, again, once again, remove buttering offers. Select, uh, remember the filter. Okay, make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, I think those are the most scams which are which are usable now. And there were other type of scams in the past. For example, when flea market had golden offers, you were able to boost your offer on top of the others. And people were selling items for dollars instead of rubles. And I actually made a mistake like this. I once went to the flea market and I really wanted to buy a headset. I don't remember which one. I think it was Sordians. So um, I couldn't buy swordings from Ragman, so I went to the flea, looked for them, and there were two golden offers above uh, above the usual ones. But the only problem is that people were selling swordings for twenty five thousand rubles as the usual one, and the golden offers were twenty three thousand. So I just bought them, but I didn't pay attention, and it was in dollars. So I paid fifty thousand dollars for two pairs of swordings. Yeah, but yeah, I hope you learned something new in this video. Don't get scammed. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, Comment down below for the algorithm and share your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.